Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I'm Muhammad Shahid and today I brought a new topic for you and we you are going to get to know about it in a while but before we proceed to know that what is going to be for us in this lecture those friends who did not subscribe to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos jin doston ne hamare channel ko abhi tak subscribe nahi kiya hai wo channel ko subscribe kar le aur bell ke icon ko zarur press kare taki naye videos se aap ba khabar reh sake to chaliye dekhte hain ke इस लेक्चर में हमारे लिए क्या है सो हियर वी गो एंड आर टूडे इस टॉपिक इज अबाउट द यूज ऑफ अ वर्ड इन चाइनीज लैंग्वेज एंड दैर इज वर्ड हुए 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 इज अ वर्ब वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द यूज ऑफ द वर्ड हुए इज अ वर्ब हम चाइनीज लफ्स खुए के बारे में आज जानेंगे एक फेल की हैसियत से हम इसको पढ़ेंगे कि इसका क्या मतलब है और इसका क्या इस्तेमाल है सो लेट्स प्रोसीड एंड गेट टू नो सो वेन वी यूज खुए खुए मीन्स कैन वेन वी यूज खुए इज अ वर्ब एंड इट मीन्स कैन इट इज अ सब्जेक्टिव स्किल ऑफ सम पर्सन who he knows who he possess a skill a set of skill and when we talk about that skill we just put hui in front of that skill and we describe that a person has that or a person does not have that skill so the description of this word hui can be given here and it's in front of you this is a chinese uh, language word means a subjective skill that a person had learned and can use it and after that we will know how to make sent negative sentences uh by using hui i mean if someone has a set of skills we use hui but if a person has been asked about a skill that if he does know that skill and he wants to reply that no he does not have that skill so how he is going to deny about that skill to jis lafz ke bare mein main bata raha hu khue ye aisa lafz hai chinese zuban mein ye istemal tab hota hai jab hum kisi insaan ke hunar ki baat karte hain koi hunar usko aata ho aur wo usko istemal karte hue uska fayda le sakta ho to khue ka lafz wahan par istemal hota hai urdu mein bhi iski maine description di hai ab ye aage aa jayegi so Uh, how are we going to do that? To know that how are we going to make negative sentences if someone does not have a set of skill or a skill? So we just need to put the word pu pu before hui pu before hui hui means can and pu hui pu hui means cannot. If someone has a skill and he can use hui. So the other one who does not have the skill can use pu hui pu hui pu hui. So in order to make a negative sentence with this word, you just simply need to put a Chinese word pu before hui, and the word will become pu hui pu hui pu hui means cannot. ठीक है आपने उसके सामने pu लिख देना. So this is its description in Urdu. ये Chinese ज़बान का वो लफ्स है जो किसी शख्स के किसी काम के करने की सलाहियत को जाहिर करता है वो सलाहियत जो कि वो शख्स इस्तेमाल में ला सकता है अब इसको इस्तेमाल करते हुए हम मनफी जुमले किस तरह बनाएंगे कि अगर किसी शख्स के पास कोई हुनर नहीं है कोई स्किल नहीं है तो वो उसको जो है उसका जवाब किस तरह दे सकता है कि मेरे पास ये हुनर नहीं है तो उसका जवाब वो हम जुमले में इसके आगे पू लगा देते हैं और वो पू खे बन जाता है जिसका मतलब बन जाता है कि मेरे पास ये स्किल नहीं है या मैं ये काम नहीं जानता मन के जुमले बनाने के लिए सिर्फ इस लफ्स यानी खुए के आगे पू लगा देना है बस मन फी बन जाएगा सो लेट्स गेट टू नो अबाउट सम सेंटेंसेस बाय यूजिंग खुए सो द फर्स्ट सेंटेंस दैट वी हैव इज नी खुए शो खाई मा नी खुए शो खाई मा नी खुए शो नी मीन्स यू खुए मीन्स कैन 
Shuo means to speak. Han yu, han yu. Han yu means Chinese language. Ma is a question asking particle used in Chinese sentences which make a whole sentence interrogative. Sawaliya banana So this is the opinion in front of you. Ni hui shuo han yu ma. Ni hui shuo han yu ma. Yu, when you pronounce han yu, han yu, han yu, just like chew, 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 chewing gum. So it's like han yu, han yu, can you speak Chinese language? It's a skill. Speaking of Chinese language is a skill. So if you you know it, so you can use hui for it. So, cap Chinese zaman bol sakte hain. Can you speak Chinese language? And if you want to reply, if you want to respond that you can, then you can respond it like that. Hui, wo hui shuo han yu. Wo hui shuo han yu. I can speak Chinese language. Hui means can. So here we will take it as a yes. Hui, wo hui shuo han yu. Ji, mein Chinese bol sakta hain. Yes, I can speak Chinese language. So now we will uh, learn about how to make negative sentences with pu hui. So here we go with the sentence. It's a question. Ni hui zuo fan ma? Ni hui zuo fan ma? Ni means you. Hui, hui means can. Zuo means to do something. Fan, meal. So when zuo is combined with fan, it makes cooking, cooking a meal. Ma, as I explained earlier, so you would know now. So, this is the opinion. Ni hui zuo fan ma? Can you cook the meal? Kya aap kana bana sakte hain? Kya aap kana paka sakte hain? Can you cook the meal? So, it's a skill. If you cook, it's a skill. So, we used hui for it. And if he does not possess the skill, he can answer bu hui. Wo bu hui zuo fan. Wo bu hui zuo fan. I cannot cook the meal. This is the opinion of it. And this is the Urdu of it. Nahi mein kaana nahi paka sakta ya bana sakta. And can't. I can't cook the meal. Or uh, you can say, Pu hui, I cannot cook the meal. Or no, I cannot cook the meal. So, another negative sentence with that. Ni hui yao yong ma. Ni hui yao yong ma. Ni means you. Hui, hui means can. Yao yong means swim. Ma. As I explained earlier, so can you swim? It's a skill. If you can swim, it's a skill. So we used hui for it before. Yao yong, yao yong. Ni hui yao yong ma. Kya ap ter sakte hain? Kya apko ter na aata hai? Can you swim? Pu hui. Wo pu hui yao yong. Wo pu hui yao yong. Pu hui. No, I can't swim. Main nahi ter sakta. Pu hui. Wo pu hui yao yong. I can't swim. So, I hope this is uh, the whole lecture that I discussed Hui about the word Hui and how we made sentences uh, that about the denial of a skill of a person and uh, we learned that how we're going to make sentences by using Hui as a verb and how it shows the skill of a person. So I hope that you have learned and its use is now clear to you and you understood well. So if you like the video, do not forget to subscribe our channel and do share it with your friends and give us your valuable, fee valuable feedbacks. And we will meet with other interesting videos. So Allah Hafiz for now.